This writing lesson is designed to help you write effective paragraphs in a number of disciplines, math, science, social studies, English language arts, and any other that would call for an extended response, paragraph composition responding to a clear prompt. Be sure to take notes while you watch this video. Feel free to pause, think about what's going on in the video, review if necessary, and apply these lessons to your own writing. Do not simply watch this video outside of a piece of your own writing. Use it to revise your own writing during the review process. If you can do this, you will see how to put these principles into effect in your own writing. Pretty soon, you will be able to do this without much revision. It will be second nature. The topic of this video is cause and effect writing, but if you have not watched the first video in the series, you should do so, because this video represents the third example of cause and effect writing revision. We are looking in this video at a third prompt. Cite examples and explain how Greek art and architecture has impacted later civilizations. This is looking for cause and effect, looking for how Greek art and architecture as the cause has affected later civilizations. Here's a typical student answer. One way of how Greek art has impacted later civilizations is the rest of the world was picking up on it and was interested in trying it. It also gave the people new ideas of what art could be. One way how Greek architecture impacted later civilizations is so the people could later discover and read the stories about their gods. Another way is the world's buildings are a lot like the columns and buildings of Greeks. Those are some ways Greek art and architecture impacted later civilizations. This student demonstrates much strength in writing this paragraph. The student understands that he should include a topic sentence and a conclusion sentence and examples following from those ideas. Unfortunately, none of this writing flows. It is repetitive and confusing and awkward at times. We can revise this to make it a stronger paragraph to bring out those ideas more clearly. Let's see how. First, we must consider the claim. The claim is the topic sentence. Here is the claim for this paragraph. One way of how Greek art has impacted later civilizations is the rest of the world was picking up on it and was interested in trying it. Remember that we will look at two tasks when writing a claim. The first is to restate the prompt. The second is to add an answer. So first, you take your own teacher's language and throw it into your sentence. Then you add your own answer. And remember, step two could be something simple, just enough to indicate that you know where you're going with this idea. One way is the problem here. One way is not a strong subject. And the writer wants to make sure to use a strong subject. If you use a strong subject, you can write a strong claim. With this particular prompt, the strong subject was Greek art and architecture. That's the subject of the prompt and should be used in the claim. The writer also wants to use a strong verb. The verb here is is. The entire sentence rests upon this weak verb. We can do better. Greek art and architecture influenced later civilizations in their own creations. The sentence is clearer, has more authority, and does a better job of announcing what's happening in the rest of the paragraph. Notice the strong, strong subject of Greek art and architecture. Notice how that leads to a strong cause and effect verb, influenced. Let's take a look at the next principle. Use transitions, but not as subjects. This author has used sentences like this. One way how Greek architecture impacted later civilizations is so the people could later discover and read the stories about their gods. Right now, the subject is one way. This is not only a weak subject, but it tries to include the transition language as part of the subject. We should revise it. Remember that we can use words like first. Simple transition words that should be separate from the subject by a comma. And we wish to avoid repetition. This particular student's sentence repeats much language from a previous sentence. We can revise it into this form. First, this art and architecture gave people in the later civilizations stories about the Greek gods. The word first is our transition. Separated by a comma, it leads into a strong subject this art and architecture. The word this refers us back to Greek. So we have a strong subject. Clearly the sentence is controlled by a strong noun phrase. 
Then we lead to a stronger verb. Rather than is, we see gave, which is a verb which may not seem all that strong, but it is much stronger than the verb is. Let's do this again. Another way is the world's buildings are a lot like the columns and buildings of Greece. Also, it gave later civilizations ideas of how to design buildings with the columns of the Greeks. Also is my transition word, and it is separate from the subject with a comma. It is a pronoun, and it may not seem like a strong subject. However, the word it replaces Greek art and architecture. In that, it is a strong subject because it replaces a strong noun phrase. Also, it gave later civilizations ideas of how to design buildings with the columns of the Greeks is a stronger sentence. It clearly indicates the idea. The revised paragraph looks much better. Greek art and architecture influenced later civilizations in their own creations. It gave people new ideas of what art could be. First, this art and architecture gave people in later civilizations stories about the Greek gods. Also, it gave later civilizations ideas of how to design buildings with the columns of the Greeks. Those are some ways Greek art and architecture impacted later civilizations. Let's review the principles of composition. First, identify a clear subject in the claim. Do not use a word like one or another or there. Second, add content to the claim. Do not forget to add an answer as step two. This answer can be subtle. A single word sometimes is all that's necessary to indicate what will follow in the paragraph. Third, use transition words and phrases, but not as subjects. Phrases like also, on the other hand, for example, first, and finally, are simple and easy to use transition language. Separate them with a comma, and you're good to go. Finally, use important people, groups, and ideas as subjects. Greek art and architecture is a strong subject. Greece is a strong subject. One is not a strong subject. Another is not a strong subject. If you can put these principles into practice, you can write stronger paragraphs with more authority. They will read cleaner, and you'll feel more confident about them.